and we're back. <laughs> so like I was saying, um, you know, don't turn down opportunities to <clears throat> to gain wisdom, to gain insight, to gain um, to grow. Um, because if I hadn't, I would have still harbored, you know, some type of resentment and harbored some type of anger. And who's the, who, who, who's telling what would have happened if I'd have just kept holding on to that? You know, who's to tell what type of blessings would I've um, what I've closed the door on? You know, from allowing that situation, from allowing to get answers from it. You know, so. You know, I saw that. You know, I see that situation and happened. And like I said, so you know, the point, the point, and 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 that first part of everything is, you know, um, don't turn down opportunities to to gain knowledge, to gain insight, to gain clarity. And I know that's that's, I know that's more. It's 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 difficult to act, to say something like that, especially when something is fresh, and you just don't want to deal with the situation. But eventually, what I'm saying is. Eventually, it, it 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 makes life easier to navigate when you when you don't have a when you don't have an ankle weight on when you don't have a this anvil t attached to a chain on your ankle and you're walking with it you're still moving forward but you're walking with it you're walking with it right and what's that anvil gonna do it's gonna slow you down you know so regardless of you moving forward it's still slowing you down here this person comes that's from your past they got the key. They trying to talk to you, but you like, ah, ah, you swatting them away, you swatting them away. And eventually they're going to go away and stuff like that. But they had the key to releasing that anvil. See what I'm saying? Don't turn down opportunities to let things go. You know, don't harbor it. Don't hold on to it. You know, always oh, try, 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 you know, and... Here's the other thing, <clears throat> and even though I'm saying this, um, there are people that that manipulate situations to try and regain access to your heart, to your life, um, to your space, and things like that. I'm not saying that's everybody, and I'm not saying that this was what the person was doing or anything like that. It just came to me to say it, so I'm saying it, you know. You have to be very mindful on who you allow back into your vicinity, who you allow back into your space and stuff like that, especially if the person has not grown. And you'll and you'll get that you'll get that information. You'll get that information from the person when you're talking to them. Cuz regardless of how much a person can um a person can tell you one minute that you know I've changed and yada 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 and all this type of stuff and you know you talk to them they say all the right things but the behavior hasn't changed but the understanding hasn't changed here's the thing me and you are talking me and you get into it and and you say hey hey breeze hey you really hurt my feelings about uh, I don't know, something real simple. I don't know. I don't like red shoes. Whatever. <laughs> you really hurt my feelings about, you know, you said my shoes was ugly, you know, and, and I, I, I just couldn't, and I couldn't get over that, you know, and, and I asked you why, and you just told me they're just ugly, they're just ugly, and, and I'm just like, okay, so, you know, and this is supposed to be a friend of mine or whatever like that, and this is not a real case scenario. I'm trying to uh, make this as simple as possible. And, you know, y'all end up not talking over, over shoes. <laughs> and uh, years later, you know, you, I come back around. I, I try to talk to them again. And, and, and they're like, and they're, you know, we're talking, we're talking. And I'm just like, you know, yeah, you know, I see. I see, you know, certain things, certain qualities about me, you know, I, I can see why I, t I push people away or, you know, people tended to uh, walk away or and stuff like that. I, I see that now. Right. I can say all that good stuff. Right. But then the person will come back and say later, like, like, man, you know, like, I can't believe like we'll bring up a situation and we'll say, you know, a person can say something and everything like that. But. You know, it, it, you know, if it hurt the person's feeling and you truly do care about the person, you know, you know, all it all it really think only thing is, you know, like to explain your position 
And to explain, you know, it's, it's definitely not my intentions to hurt that person's feelings and stuff like that. And I go around and I'm just like, well, I don't care and yada, yada, yada. And after I said all that good stuff to make it seem like I'm gaining understanding and stuff like that. You see what I mean? I think that was a bad example, but I, I, what I'm really trying. <laughs> what I'm really trying to say is just, you know, be, you know, a person can, a person can say all that good stuff and this and that, and you gain insight from the situation, and a person may misinterpret that as a way of, okay, well now we can, I we can be good again and all that type of stuff, and you got to know what boundaries you need to place up over people like that, because. At the end of the day, you may gain insight. You they, they that that person may have came back and um, granted you clarity on something, but that by no means mean that you should allow them to come back in. That 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 doesn't mean you should, you know, allow them to you know walk this journey with you and to continue to to you know be in your space, especially if you've grown and you got into a place where. Where it's just things are things are a bit more clearer, things are moving a bit better, you know. And that's not one hundred percent of the time, you know. Sometimes people do change, and you know, there's reoccurring characters in different movies, different books that come back around and that help you move to another level. Sometimes that does happen, but most people, most people choose to, you know. Well, most people don't 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 grow at the same time, and most people don't learn lessons that they should learn or that you know you try to show them in 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 that necessarily that time frame and stuff like that and and sometimes you just you just have to let it go you know but overall like i'm saying like i i just don't think anybody should um scuff at the opportunity to to learn from a situation and to hear a person out that's the other thing, man. To hear a person out. Because regardless of how mad I was and, 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 and things like that, you know, just even hearing them out and, and just sitting down and having a moment of clarity just said, okay. Okay. I see. I still think you're wrong, but I see. You know. The saying, one man's... uh. One man's a, uh, what is it? One man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. It's a very like widely used philosophical saying, you know. Given the situation that I'm talking about, because I'm pretty sure you can interpret that any way you want to. Given the situation I'm speaking on, it's just a matter of right and wrong. That's just it. One man's freedom fighter. One man's. You know, he's fighting for the people. He's fighting for his religion. He's fighting for this. He's fighting for that. He's right in his mind. But to the next man, you're doing things that's that's detrimental to my way of life. You're wrong in my eyes. And 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 that's how people operate on a simplistic level of everyday life. That's how most of us operate. You're wrong. I'm right. No. I'm uh, no. I'm wrong, and you're right. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it's 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 just black and white. And just like that saying, a person's not gonna go up to a terrorist and say, "Hey, can you explain? You know this to me?" Uh, now, given recent events of you know that terrorist that you know shot those 17 people condolences to the family i'm not trying to say that you know we should we should um and 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 you know condolences to the family and prayers to them and i pray that monster gets everything coming to him anyway um not saying that you know i'm not trying to equate <laughs> uh dick cheating on sue and Sue not seeing where Dick is coming from and stuff like that to terrorism and freedom fighters. I'm not trying to equate that. I just want people to really understand that um, 
things on the heightened level you know you bring it down to a level that where you can comprehend it and things like that because everybody everybody understands things differently everybody learns things differently some people are visual some people you know can just take see it one time and, and that's it some people are audio learners and stuff like that everybody looks at life differently you see what i'm saying that's the point i'm trying to make everybody under it, it, you know they're at a place in their 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 life where they they take things in a certain way and they hold on to it a certain way and they let it go a certain way you see what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, given situations, if the opportunity presents itself for you to close out that chapter, gain understanding from it, learn from it, you should take every situation that happens to you as an opportunity to learn and to move better, you know, as an opportunity to grow as a person, to grow um, spiritually and, 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 and mentally and physically, if, if need be, you know. So, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I've, 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 I, I, I had this, a situation um, come full circle, and um, I've gained some understanding from it that I wasn't necessarily looking for, but that I, I did need. I get it. I understand. And that's all I ever pray for is wisdom and understanding, discernment, and peace, and blood covering, all that. So, you know, I pray that I, I've given, you know, I've given somebody some, um, some insight into this. Um, and, you know, I just pray that we all continue to grow as people. And everybody's walk is different. So, you know, there's it's, it's, it's nothing wrong if you're just not there yet nothing wrong with that if you just somebody whatever to you and you know what i don't care i'm not gonna understand because i wasn't always like this i know this seems real peaceful and i'm real like and this is the guy that's saying yeah you need to take what that person that just uh i don't know blew out your tires and you don't know why or you know whatever i'm i'm i get it you know i get it and each circumstance is different by all means you know i I'm not trying to say that everything is, is like this. You know, everything is not straight line. Every situation can't be looked at like that. Each situation, you have to take it in um, from where you are. If a person tried to kill you, <laughs> it's not funny. If a person tried to kill you, I'm not sitting here saying, uh, call them up and say, hey, why did you try to do that? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. Take each situation. Um, take the severity of each situation and move accordingly because each situation the severity level is it, it it varies you know every situation is not the same and they should not be looked at as the same but the overall philosophical way of life that i'm speaking from the overall um majority of things just on a simple level you try to take a take take a situation and learn from it and you try to get under gain understanding from it and the only way to gain understanding especially if it's a situation that concerns two parties and the only way to gain an understanding is to somehow get some insight from the other party you understand and pray for discernment because people tend to lie and when people lie and will uh misconstrue the truth and misconstrue your understanding if you take in that lie that's the thing if you take in a lie and that's how and that's how you believe the situation is you'll misconstrue the whole thing and your growth will be skewed and you don't want that and you got to pray for discernment if you don't believe in god uh read books for discernment and wisdom follow your uh, uh, follow your gut you know and do some investigating if need be if it if it gets to that point you know but yeah man i just trying to trying to grow as a person man and you know sometimes it's hard sometimes it's just you don't feel like dealing with stuff and sometimes you just <sighs> you just feel like <sighs> excuse me sorry sometimes you just feel like you shouldn't have <laughs> stupid shut, shut up man perfect timing thank you for that this freaking guy guy wants to interrupt my video <laughs> nah but um 
everyone deserves uh, everyone deserves to grow as people and everyone deserves an opportunity to learn uh, from their mistakes and stuff like that um yeah yeah I think that's it um so I hope, uh, you know I hope I hope gained a little bit of insight from this and I mean if I touched a nerve then um I hope that you can pinpoint what it is what it is that was in my words that touched that nerve what it is that I said that made you you know feel a way and that once again you gain some insight from it and you begin to really challenge yourself and that's a part of growth man you got to challenge yourself you got to you got to try to sit down and say what if i'm wrong here and i'm not saying to accept any wrong or accept any mistakes or anything like that what i'm saying is to just question it that's the first step just question it and just go from there and you'll get the answers that you need out of the situation and once and once you're done with something once you let it go let it go once you unlock that anvil once you get that key from that person to unlock that anvil you don't move forward and then one day whatever many years later you get nostalgic or whatever or all of a sudden i don't know just some people they just they just tend to um be self-destructive or, or just just tend to just move backwards you know you don't go back and re reshackle yourself to an old issue you let it go you let it go and you move forward you know you dragging that ankle should have made you stronger so it's, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna you're gonna always have that with you you're gonna you know maybe even left a mark on you it's gonna always be there with you you're gonna always have that reminder of dragging that but don't go back and reshackle yourself. Don't do that. Don't do that. Once a situation, once you've learned from a situation, once you've gained the insights from it, let it go. Take the lesson. Move forward. All right. Um, I was told I need to start doing this. Um, I got a YouTube channel, and then I put these videos up on. So you know, I got my 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 regular page, and I got my my biker page, my breeze page, and uh, I do add the video to my breeze page. So any biker brothers or sisters that want to look at my videos like in a straight line instead of having to go through my timeline and stuff like that, um, my YouTube channel is Mega M143, and you can check out my videos or, or even show it to a person or you know just want to gain some insight from something like that you know and you like the particular video yeah add it to your favorites or whatever like that you know, um, and I try to do these videos anytime um, something comes to me to to speak on. Uh, I don't necessarily try to do this on a weekly thing or a daily thing or every other day. It's just when something comes to me to speak on, I'll speak on it. You know, it, it usually happens when I go through something in my own personal life or, you know, somebody's um, I've gained some insight from another person's situation that I've given advice on or something like that. And uh, yeah, so it's all love, man. It's all love, you know. So I hope everybody have a good day and uh, be easy. Stay warm. I can't wait for the weather to break. I can get back out on these twos, man. <laughs> oh, man. It's all good. All love, man. Take it easy.